actually going to lock off a number of these. So, what I want to do... is just have these looped in extremely terrible MS Paint, uh, MS Paint Horror Town. So, what I'm thinking is, we piss these guys off thoroughly. Oh, 2008, 2018, sorry, brain, brain fart. I'm, I'm too busy thinking about exactly what I'm going to do. Hey, we're already done with the loop again. Right, let's start working on electric engines. Gosh, that's going to be an extra process. Okay. Uh, let's see. Part of it is I've done two different uh, factorios. Or factorio. Uh, I've done two different series on Subnautica. So here's a problem. I've landlocked myself. Okay, this nest can die. It's in my way anyway. So yeah, let's very quickly just get rid of this one. Okay, this is gone. Nobody else is loose within the base perfects. So that means I can come back in here and actually have a land bridge. But is your brain dying on you there, Wander? Oh, it's it's just brain farting. That's the real answer. Robotics. Is this what I need? Wow, we're getting some stuff. Let's get uh let's get railway first. Okay. Didn't even realize Factorio had enemies. Normally it has a lot of enemies that are coming after me, but I am I'm farting left and right. Anyway. So, 2018 series, I'm just focusing on aliens, gotta kill things, what am I doing? So, I ran out of water, they needed to die, we've got a couple of these surrounded. What I want to do is piss them the hell off. I don't entirely know what causes alien nests to expand, uh, but I'm wondering if I'm just constantly killing their enemies. If we're lucky, uh, like if we're, if we're killing the aliens that spawn out of those, if we're lucky they'll expand to the absolute perimeter of the little islands that I've left for them. And I'll just have a bunch of guns pointed at it. Easy peasy. Are we actually doing fine science-wise? Wait, are we backed up on blue science? What? I mean, we're barely, but... Yeah, I guess our research speed is just slow enough with, this, with these labs that I don't need to expand it any further. Perfect. Let's see, did I play on default settings? What, this? Uh, mostly default settings. I reduced the amount of aliens that we initially had. Because for whatever reason, I, I'm assuming one of my mods was doing it, but for whatever reason, uh, there was an alien base always, like, within spitting distance of spawn before I actually started. And I wasn't sure why, and so I just turned the rate down until it stopped happening. Uh, hopefully I can get them to expand heavily. Okay, a certain amount of pollution absorbed by nests is what causes the exp expansion. Got it. So what you're saying is pollute heavily in this immediate area. That happens to be vanilla. Okay. Because it was like nest right here. Or closer. Like, I, I had one where the ship crashed in the middle of an alien nest, and it's just like I'm not prepared to deal with these worms. And so, yeah, I, I just turned it down until they weren't there anymore. Alright. Oh, let's see. Critical hit chance. Probably damage bonus. Damage and health. Various things. Okay. So we're no longer backed up on iron. We are using sufficient... Uh, sufficient amounts that that... But... Okay. Dang it. There's like a little fly thing that went in front of me. But then I couldn't see it anymore. Alright, whatever. Uh, it's fine. So we got a bunch of potential accumulators.
but it should be enough forever. Or maybe not forever, but for a considerable amount. So let's just get her done. So is that enough? Yes. Actually, instead of doing this... Okay. Uh, there we go. Now, unfortunately, I have to cut the recording every single time I... And it's gone. Every every single time I want to increase or decrease the uh, the build size on concrete, which is a little rough, but it's worth it. This base will be paved. And then I think there's a higher tier version of pavement. Maybe I could be wrong. We'll see. Let's see. So what are we working on next? Logistics 3. Requires purple. Never mind. Can't do that. Uh, let's see. Low density structure. Oh, these are new. Ooh. Uh, kind of pricey. Go with that. Uranium processing. Let's go down. Let's grab some stone. Let's actually get a landfill. I want to get over here. Might want to make a, uh, a stack of boys. What I'm thinking is, stack of boys, and we go start to mess with Tiberium. Because I haven't touched Tiberium yet, and I bet I bet that's got, got some fun, fun applications. Or it's completely pointless, and who knows, but, I mean, we've got some nearby, so why not? I wonder if a stack of boys can, can go after Tiberium. At that point, my only concern is sustainable Tiberium harvesting. That is a phrase that I'm pretty pretty sure no one has ever uttered in relation to the Command and Conquer universe, and yet here we are. I don't know, maybe if the games had gone lo on long enough, we would have seen that plot point. Okay. So it's nighttime now. Seriously? I guess... Did I pick any up? Or is it because I had actually re removed them? Uh, let me take a look. Accumulator charge is... Oh, I see. It's becoming daytime, so it's not so bad. Alright. Let's see. Was that a base inside your new area? You mean this one? Or this one? Or this one? Oh... That's bad. Guess who ran out of water? Luckily, these guys are not within the pollution range, so they're not angry yet. They'll get there. Yeah, we're not actually outputting a whole lot of pollution here, so if I want to actually... If I want to make the aliens pissed off at me, what I'm going to have to do is probably go super aggro and just start shooting. So, I th I'm thinking we cover a lot of the border in guns and go nuts. That'll make them mad. Okay, time to shrink this back down again. I really gotta change my hotkeys here. Aha! What did you think was going to happen? Fools! Oh. I forgot, I've got droids. I'm curious about deployable... Flame bots and whatnot. I wonder if these guys run out of ammo. They probably do. Oh, let's see. Standard seed bomb. What else we got? Anything fancy? Gun turret. Scatter gun turret. Repair turret. Dirt turret. Prototype artillery. Ooh. Okay. 
Let's see, why not pollute near them? It could. Okay, wood. I'm just gonna let the these boys grow out for a little while. these perfect night glasses oh okay well oh, mining drone pro productivity is going what do I need for lasers okay so laser would get me Tiberium millet what Tiberium military and okay so that's how we get the laser turrets they're not even that expensive, so we'll go for the ne that next. Let's see. Some mining drone productivity is done, so we want to do lasers. Lasers, lasers, lasers. There we go. Because, yeah, I think these guys get just as pissed if you shoot them as well. I could pollute. I'm just not sure what is... Well, I guess a bunch of steam engines would do the trick. Just right here. Make them hella mad. Okay. Let's let's go over here. My original goal was not, not to do this. My original goal... Mining depot. Couple of boys. And we need wooden poles. So what I want to do... Is go over here. What I want to do is get rid of the... Uh, or not get rid of... I want to start harvesting Tiberium. Oh, it's like destroying the rocks. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. Maybe I don't want boys for this one. Maybe we want actual, like, drills. A mega drill. Way too expensive. Alright. You got any other crazy drills that I can work with? Or is this, this the best I got? Yeah, it looks like this is the best I got. Oof. All right. I don't know if there's some fancy trick to getting Tiberium. I'm assuming not. Well, that's unsatisfying. Okay, laser is finished. Now let's do laser turret. Because what I want to do is just point this one of these suckers straight into the alien base and just a couple of them? Zap. Does it hurt you like normal? Pretty sure, yeah. Yep. It hurts pretty bad. So you don't want to hold on to Tiberium. This makes sense. That's, yeah, that's just uranium. Unfortunately, uranium and Tiberium look virtually identical, so there's that. Alright, so let's roll back. Let's grab, grab some of these. I don't know what the heck I'm doing with Tiberium. I haven't touched this stuff up until now, so it's like, well... Car, eh? Get a bunch of iron real quick. More iron than we will need, and that is more transport belts than I probably probably can use in quite a while. Let's do fifteen hundred. 
That's an excessive amount. Leave those there. All right. I'm going to go over here, grab the concrete. We're just going to slowly make... Speed path. I'm probably going to be faster than a car. I might already be pretty close to being faster than the car. We'll see. Okay. So I'm just going to do wood. Get him, boys. I don't need to go any... Uh, don't need to go fast. Okay, I should have enough resources. Okay, so we've got regular Tiberium. Okay, so how does this work? Tiberium Science Pack. Make Tiberium Centrifuge. Okay. Mechanical Tiberium Testing. So, we want to take these, put them in a assembly machine. Easy enough. Uh, let's see. Did I want to do that? I not really. What was actually? Eh. Just pull this stuff out for a bit, and then I'll figure out how I'm going to handle it. Uh, let's see. Why don't I have assemblers on my list? I know I'm trying to be kind of stingy with this stuff, but there's a there's a certain point where it just becomes ridiculous. Okay, I'll put that there just for a little bit of bonus coverage. Okay, so you can make. Here we go. Tiberium science spec requires Tiberium data. Isn't this green Tiberium? Oh! But all I've got are long boys. That'd do it. Okay. So let's, let's start this process. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this will go. This big wooden pole is in the worst possible spot. Uh, let's see. Put it there and there. Spread it out a little bit. Okay. Nope, that's not the spot. Alright, in, in, in. Now, one lab does not have to have all of the science packs to work, right? I can have a separate lab for each one of these, yes or no? This is better if we have it go the other direction. 
That way we can kind of zigzag with this. Okay. Is this kind of excessive science? Probably. Do I even need this much? Who knows? Okay. And you can... This stuff is creeping in. Like, we might have to, uh... Figure out how to keep it off. Or, I just... I don't know. Sick the boys on it from time to time. I guess that's it, actually. Here, where are the boys? Oh, they're still working. I'll let them, I'll let them do their thing. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, periodically sick the boys on this and just uh, wreck it. Let's see, we could island it. That is an option. But it, w it would still spread. I could island the entire facility. That would be the other way to do it. Or I could just say, like, eh, whatever. I'll just uh, pay the consequences at a later date. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so first question, please tell me I can research this. Okay, so... Frustrating. So that means if I want to do anything with Tiberium... What can we do with Tiberium? Tiberium military, electromagnetic testing, fluid handling... It's the military stuff that seems kind of interesting. Okay, so this ain't going to work. So what we're going to do instead is we're just going to store vast quantities of this stuff and I'll deal with it later. Uh, let's see. I guess I don't have a chest. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll just come back at a later date with like a bunch of Tiberium science packs. And then I'll make it work. This place will probably be horribly overrun by that point. But, you know what? Oh well. Okay, spread that there. Okay. Because, yeah, I can I can just let this do its thing, and it's so removed from my base that I can just kind of not care about it. I like the idea of Tiberium, and I want to see this mod expanded, almost. Because as, as it stands, it's a little bit on the basic side. Because I, I would love to see, like, an almost total conversion mod. I thought you said you were going to do ring fit. I will. Give me a little bit longer. Okay, so we're going to do lasers. Oh, we already, we already got lasers. All right. Oh, that's cheap enough. All right, so what's required if I want to make a laser turret? Batteries. Well, that's a non-issue. Where are they? They're up here. All right, look at that. Batteries for days. Enough to make six. Dang. Probably other things that are limiting me. There we go, 19. 
Let's go piss off some aliens. Okay. We're missing some steel, but we don't need it. How many of these do we have? Actually, how much do I need for a repair turret? We'll make a couple. Because I'm, I'm thinking what we want to do is pick one of these bases, this one or this one. This one's closer to my power poles, so it's probably easier for me to work with. Uh, how many grenades do I have? I don't have any. Let's go. Let's see. You can do a map setting, so only Tiberium spawns. So you have to uh, use it to get iron and stuff. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I like, I like the idea of that. Alright, so where are my Granadas? Oh, shoot. That seems to be my mill science limitation. Alright, short distraction. Okay. I guess I could also just set fire to the forest. I have options. Oh, I see. I was I was just mimicking the other side. That's what's going on. Okay. Nope. I'm trying to just place these regular intervals. Okay. There we go. This should get me some more grenades. Should probably make... A filter for it, but... Oh well. Uh, let's see, how many grenades can I make? 30. Maybe I should make that flamethrower. Oh well. This will piss some things off and get me plenty of grenades. At least for a while. Okay, next order of business, where's my concrete? Grab as much as we can. Because ideally what I want to do is just pave the heck out of everything so I can get around faster. I don't think I'm going to bother with cars. There we go. So I have grenades. I should have some, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Interestingly enough, this doesn't piss them the heck off. I, mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Okay. One way or another. I could utilize some boys to get, get through all of this. But where's the fun in that? Okay. Looks like it's a bit more necessary. Let's let's grab the boys. Let's get rid of these trees. We might lose some boys in the process. That is a sacrifice that they are willing to make. They have zero free will. <laughs> okay, so we want to get repair turrets down. Oh, good. They are huge. Okay. 
Next up, lasers. Let's see, I've got 25 of these. want to do is lure them over and see if it'll be a perpetual murder machine. Why are they all over? Get over here! What are you doing? Why are they all over there? This is just confusing. Like, a couple... A couple are gonna come say hi. Alright. Round two. Let's see. How many of these can I make? I need stuff. Boy's almost done. Okay, energy weapon damage is up. Double A, hey, double smelters. Just hand mine this? No. Well, we got a couple of options. I could get closer. Holy shit, this is pain. Oh, that's where the last land bridge was. Okay, how many? Yeah, so we're just gonna we're just gonna make a secondary set of boilers and other stuff, and uh, piss some things the heck off. If they're not gonna if they're not gonna come to me, well, make them come to me and make them real mad in the process. Offshore pump, put it right there. Boiler, 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 boiler. Okay, and steam engines. Things are the most egregious pollution machines I've gotten my setup. Oh, right. Uh, wait. How much pollution does an electric boiler? Nothing. Well, that's rough. So we gotta get some coal up in here. Oh, gosh. Can't I just fake it? Are there any just pollution machines? Well, that's one way to do it, at least for a little while. That'll make him mad. Look at that. Almost immediately. All right. Now we do have, we do have some coal. Okay, so we got the double smelter. What else do I want to invest in? Let's check the oven prototype. Because that sounds interesting. Whatever whatever it's going to net me. Pick that up. Okay. A long walk, but whatever. All right, boys. You're doing coal. Alright, so let's go back here. Just get one fast loader. Is 
This is the first time in this game I have ever intentionally polluted. And that amuses the heck out of me. Oh, wrong direction. Uh, let's see. Too far. Okay. So, if we're super lucky, they'll just expand to the point where they have no choice but to fight my lasers. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So now we just need a couple of burner inserter arms. Make sure the coal flows. Speaking of coal flowing, why, why isn't it going anywhere? Oh. Because I didn't actually attach the belt. Is what it is. Okay. So the other thing I'm going to quick try is something that's going to piss them off. I mean, anything. Uh, we've got a couple of these. Okay. Somewhat stupid redundant idea. What if... Can I make any more lasers? Yes. How does this work? Consumes electricity. Oh. It's a logistics thing. So unfortunately... Okay, well... They're super pissed off. And will continue to come at, at my lasers for a while. So my repair turrets apparently will only repair if I actually have drones. Or maybe that's not it. Maybe I just have to give it repair kits. Hopefully that'll do. So, really this just needs to be connected to the logistics network for the rest. But that's that's fine. That's all I need. Alright. So how is power with the lasers? Um... Pretty good. The lasers are... Not actually that expensive. Okay, so next question is, am I gaining EXP? Yes. I am gaining EXP for every kill. Okay, that's really all I needed. So now, now I will at least consistently kind of slowly gain some levels. We'll probably want to do this with the other ones, but I, I figure having these things here just to pollute non-stop for a while should do the trick. We might have to get rid of some trees to do it, but eh. That's what's required. That's what's required. And if it all gets blown up, who cares? <laughs> I'm not using it anyway. Alright. Well, 
at this point, we've got our kind of combat situation going. It's not as good as I wanted it to be. What I think I'm going to do is, next time, open up some kind of combat area. And actually see if I can weather enemies invading. You know, open the gates a little bit instead of being the cowardly little island boy that I have been. But honestly, for... For two days of play, not bad. We're on blue science. We're on the cusp of purple if I want to go that go that direction. But there's a lot of other stuff that I like could mess around with as well. Uh, kinda. I don't know. I always get kind of lost after a certain point in this game where it's just like there are so many different things that I could do. What is an oven used for? That's the real question. What the hell is an oven? Presumably it's a furnace. It's just like a really dang strong one. Okay, oven prototype. Yeah, it takes 24. So crap. Let's make one. Let's see how this goes. Uh, let's see. Let's plonk it over here. It's huge. Iron plate. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh. Give me a second. I think we've solved many problems. Let's just get a couple of fast mini loaders. Holy shit, those take a while to make. Well, let's go. And that's the prototype. That's not even the fast one. Okay. Yeah, the biggest problem is just emptying this sucker out. I'm gonna need a bigger setup. I'm gonna need to tear this whole thing apart just to make this thing work. I'd swear, I... It might be more efficient for me to just have one of... Okay. Let's look at this thing again. 48. This thing is equal to 24 electric furnaces in one. How the hell? Oh, gosh. Well, all right. That's fun. I'll play with that more later. It is an absolute energy hog, though. Like, that thing alone is more than my entire lab <laughs> setup, and it's not even running constantly. Oh, man. Yeah, does it make more than anything else? It makes equal to 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. So two of these would equal to one of these columns. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... Reevaluate how I'm going to handle any and all of this. But it'll probably be worth it. Okay. It's like, look at that thing go. It's gross. I love it. Yeah, we'll redo the copper line first, I think, with this stuff, and then we'll figure out the rest. Use it as an inline smelter. That's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, go back to this and just have, like, 
We'd probably want the actual first generation oven. We oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So a first generation oven crafting speed 96. It's equal to 48 of the electric furnaces. So, yeah, I think I'm going to just unlock these goofballs and then just have a bunch of these lines feeding into ovens, feeding into iron. And that's that's first generation. There's higher tiers that I don't even have access to yet. It's quite the power consumption on it. It was like 9 megawatts, right? That's equal to three solar panels. <laughs> I... Oh, I can't wait. That'll be fun. That'll change some things about this base. They go hook that up to an infinite ore pile. That's kind of what I was thinking. How goes the spaghetti? Well, it's going pretty well. I'm trying to piss off the aliens intentionally. It's working. I was kind of hoping they'd expand, but they're not. It's getting me a little bit of VXP constantly, but it's not too much. And everything else is just kind of sitting pretty, at least for now. Look at that. I actually have a surplus on blue science. So it turns out this excessive... super beast of a science machine actually turned out to work out. What are we doing on, uh, gray science? Wherever the heck it is. It's over here. Now I got 5k. Yeah. So as long as I don't add more labs or increase their speed, we will never have to, uh, expand my science production. Eh, it might be worth it. What I'll probably do is just wait until we get beacons and go from there. See, what mod are the crevices from? The crevices are Vortex Deep Core Mining. It's another way of getting ore, but I haven't needed it yet. Okay. Anything else I need to do before I stop with this for the day? Probably not. I'm having a good time. But I should get some exercise in. And maybe some food. Exercise and then food. Otherwise, I'm going to be miserable. 